We're much more upbeat. We're having a lot more fun, and uh, we're winning. A strange phenomenon is taking place before our very eyes. The Boston Celtics flew out west, and over the first two games of the road trip on the left coast, they've looked more energized than they have all season. They've used that level of energy and activity to dismantle their first two opponents on this trip. First, the Golden State Warriors on Wednesday, and now, the Sacramento Kings on Friday night. Boston controlled Friday's matchup from the opening tip, pulling ahead 11-0 out of the gates and by as many as 29 points during the second half, and that marked the final margin of victory. We are learning quickly that when the Boston Celtics play with this level of energy and this level of activity, they're almost impossible to beat. You know, I just think we're just trying to take care of business, start the road trip off right, and um, you know we were looking forward to, to playing the Warriors and taking care of business on the first night, and then you know and sack uh, come out, and you know we're just clicking. Great energy from the start. Obviously, got a good start in general. Offense crisp. Well, we had 67 and a half. And other than that, third quarter, they had two 20-point quarters and finished with 18. So, uh, good focus regardless of who they had playing. We're much more upbeat. We're having a lot more fun, and uh, we're winning. You just love to see it, don't you? And you also love to see Tatum and his partner in crime, Jalen Brown, both go off Friday night in Sacramento. They were seeing 30-30 as Tatum scored a game-high 32 points while Jalen Brown added in 30 of his own. That sets the Celtics up with a 2-0 record, heading into Sunday's matchup with the red-hot Denver Nuggets, who are led by MVP candidate Nikola Jokic. Tip-off is coming at you at 8 p.m. Eastern on NBC Sports Boston. Reporting for Celtics.com, I'm Mark D'Amico.